Hi, my name is Donna Hooker and this is my view from the forest. Today I'm talking about why institutions need a gender and development office. It can go by many names. Yale College calls it the Office of uh, Gender and Campus Culture. Uh, the University of Toronto calls it the Sexual Diversity Office and the University of Stanford calls it the Gender Equality Office. All offices operate to promote conditions for inclusion and genuine equity between men and women in academia. As we celebrate International Women's Month this March, there's no better time than now to shed light on this topic. Despite all the pro-women policies, both gender equality and equity have been proven to be elusive for several reasons. Cases in point. A study by researchers at University of Toronto and McMaster University found that a gender gap continues to exist in Canadian inter-university sport in terms of participation, coaching and administration. The findings show that men comprise 56 to 58 percent of student athletes even when full-time male students in Canadian universities was just 44 percent compared to females. Further, men comprise the majority of those in coaching and administrative leadership positions, such as head coaches and athletic directors. My colleagues from GLOED, a special interest group for women in international education, often discuss the disparity between men and women at the senior leadership table, often disappropriate to the number of women and men in the education field. A number of Canadian universities are also failing women students on sexual assault. A recent report by Statistics Canada found that in 2019, the highest number of sexual assault victims were young women, and the incidents of sexual assault are more prevalent on campuses compared with the general population. As a woman and as a mother of three daughters, these figures concern me. These underscore a need for an office at higher education institutions that address the gender skew and change of culture of impunity towards women. The Gender and Development Office should spearhead education programming, initiate webinars on gender sensitivity, and activities that celebrate one's gender. Gender equity policies should be rewritten as well to push both forth equal participation opportunities for women in all fields. Together with the HR department, the office must strive to make more leadership opportunities available for women. I challenge institutions and their gender and development office to provide an inclusive, safe, supportive and respectful environment for women to live, learn and work. Happy International Women's Month everyone, and that's my view from the forest.